Hey guys, welcome to the uh, Watch Ho Show with Rob and Todd. Um, today's episode we're going to be talking about watches under $50. Very close to $50. Very close. Is yours, <laughs> is yours under $50? Bucks? Mine is under $50. Bucks. Well, I'm impressed. I didn't think Todd would have a watch under $50. Bucks. I have a couple, yeah. Did, yeah. <laughs> Two out of your hundred and seventy. No, I, I have several that are. Yeah, I was going to say a couple to Todd means a couple dozen. <laughs> Maybe he's, I don't know. I haven't counted. He's, he's I know you've been pressing me to count. He's committed. He's yet. committed I, to I me. Count. Yeah, he's going to count them all because I think his one seventy one. Is a little off, and maybe it, and maybe it'll go in your favor, and it will be less than that, and, and I can. Well, I've, stop I've added it. a few here yeah, in the last a couple that. of weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I've been broken down. I had to, so. Well, first of all, um, we always like to start off and talk about the watch that we're wearing. So today, I have a Longines Master Collection. So is that the one under fifty bucks? This is not under fifty bucks, Rob. <laughs> no. <laughs> But let me just tell you a little bit about it real quick. I know that you really like the Longines Love. brand. Well, you're, you're torturing me here, right? Yeah. This is real, the only Longines that I have. Oh. Um, I don't have any others. This is the only one. Oh, I take it back. <laughs> I do have another one. I have a Divers. Okay, watch. I'm going to ask you a question because I, I actually wrote this question I don't know down. what watches No, I no, no. I know you don't. <laughs> but this, this is a perfect segue for this question. Todd does not know I'm going to ask this question. Because of your extensive watch collection, have you ever accidentally bought the same watch twice? I don't think I have, no. <laughs> Just um, hasn't downed them all yet. I have multiple. Of the same, right. The but same you do that on purpose. with different uh, dial, right. colors, or but uh, the same brand. But but yes, I have had to think about that yeah. multiple times. Well, do that, I already have this one? I know. <laughs> it's really attractive. <laughs> and that's why I asked the question. Is I was buying a, yet another fossil because I buy a lot of fossil watches and I could not remember. It's like, oh, I'm going to be really upset if I have this at home. <laughs> and so, it, yeah. and I'm thinking, well, you've got a lot more watches than I do. How do you remember that? So that's why I was saying, hey, have you ever bought the same watch again? So, yeah, this is a Longine. It's part of their master collection. Um, I really like the uh, simplicity of the dial. Um, it is a chronograph and it is automatic. Um, with a date configuration down here between the four and the five o'clock position. Um, and then you have these three sub dials that are uh, really add to the look. So that's what I'm wearing today. This is a uh, beautiful uh, leather strap on a butterfly clasp. And for you that don't know this, uh, some of our viewers, if you're wondering why they make the butterfly clasp opposed to just a uh, buckle, this will help save your leather strap and give you more longevity on it. I did not know that. So you're not uh, running it through a buckle and pulling it, which ultimately will wear it out much quicker. This is designed to just clip over and you're good to go. Do you mind if I uh, hold it? Oh, oh yeah, play, play with that a little bit. See how you're... Wow, <laughs> so I, I don't know if you want to tell us the, uh, the cost of this one, but I'm guessing it costs more than my entire collection. Honestly, I don't recall okay. the exact cost, right. but um, Is that... I will qual qualify this and say that I never pay retail. Everything I right. purchase is substantially below retail. And Todd, do you buy brand new watches typically? or do Typically you buy, brand new watches. Do you ever buy used watches? I have bought a few used okay. premium yeah, I've watches. I've not bought a used watch at all. All my watches are brand new. I, I don't know if I ever will buy a used watch. I know a lot of people do. Because uh, they want a certain model that they don't make anymore and things like that. But um, long, how do you say this again? Long jeans. Long jeans, and I think this retails around thirty-two hundred, if okay. I re remember right. If I'm off, it's only a few hundred dollars. And thirty-two hundred for some people, quite honestly, would be considered a starter watch. I mean, literally, because everybody's got their price points that they can live with. And I wouldn't. I mean, but uh, that's a beautiful watch for the price. Uh, very much so. And I would try to steal that, so keep that away from me. Thank you. Um, so I noticed you <laughs> are wearing a new watch, Rob. I'm a little Brand bit new. familiar with some yeah. of your clothes. <laughs> Todd has a, about 12 of these, and, and that's why I have one. So I'm wearing today the, uh, the Invicta um, uh, Grand, wait, Grand Diver. Grand, Grand Diver, yeah. It's a little bigger than the uh, bigger. Pro Diver. So this is the biggest watch that I, that I wear. Uh, and I'm getting used to it because I don't normally wear watches this big. 
And again, size has, everybody has different uh, value, uh, ideas of the size that they like. This is 47 uh, millimeters, pretty darn thick, and you'll see some close pictures here. But um, it's got the, uh, the uh, dual uh, clasp, uh, so it stays on. But uh, Todd had a couple of these, and uh, I couldn't help but uh, buy one for myself. Actually, I picked up a couple of them, but I'm wearing this one today. Uh, this particular one is called the Both of cream which sickle. I am coveting. Good. If you can help me <laughs> obtain one of these cream sickle. <laughs> yeah, this is called a cream sickle because of the white uh, dial and the, and the orange. Just saw that online and had to have it. Um, I think when these were first out, they retailed you, it was either $5.95 or $7.95. But Invicta is notoriously, I mean, I don't know if anybody has paid full price for an Invicta, right? I mean, they just hardly ever sell them full price. But I picked this up for $127 online. Wow. For $127 bucks for, an, for an automatic, you know, Invicta gets a lot of uh, bad rap. That's a great watch for $127. Bucks. Yeah. And I know you've got like, Ten of these, so you're very. I do. I like them a lot. Uh, this one in particular is just very beautiful with that uh, cream face, uh, the black accent, and then the orange. Just really goes together well. Looks really classy and sporty. But you're right, Rob. For that price range, you can't. Uh, it's a great value. You, you can't buy yeah. a watch uh, with that quality for that value. Um, I own several of them, and uh, they're not, I don't know if this one's Swiss made, I don't think it is. I don't think so. I don't think most of yeah. those are Swiss made. I think they may make a, special, a few special limited editions yeah. that are, but uh, most of the ones I have are not, but they're great watches, I, yeah. love, I love them. Are you gonna pass down the Invicta to your great, great grandson? No. Um, as, a, as a watch ho, where we buy anything that we like, great watch, great value, and uh, that's why we say to the, the people who watch the show, if you like the, if you like the watch, buy the watch. And, and for that price, why not? So we're gonna talk about uh, cheap watches and what I call uh, banger watches. Uh, banger watches are watches that you wear that you don't care if you bang against the wall, you don't care if you mow the lawn with them, you know, things like that. Also known as AKA cheap watches. And I think every watch collector uh, really should have a, a line of banger watches in their collection. Uh, I know some collectors, uh, you know, the long jeans would be their banger watch, uh, but uh, uh, we're going to show you some of the watches that we, that we own that are around $50 and less, and uh, that you, you know, they're nice watches, and we're going to tell you why we bought them and, and uh, how fun they are. So I'm going to start out with my, one of my cheaper banger watches. Uh, this is called an S. Koifman. Uh, a lot of people aren't going to hear about S. Koifman. Uh, it would be called uh, like a... I don't know, uh, uh, what a, uh, not a homage watch, but a, you know, like the Michael Coors and you know, all those different brands out there. But S. Koifman is actually owned by Invicta, these guys. Yeah, it's a subsidiary, isn't it? Yeah. It's a, one of their... Yeah, they, they make, uh, the, the S. Koifman is made by uh, Invicta, um, or they, they own S. Koifman. This particular one, um, it's got uh, quite a few movements to it. I liked it. The reason I bought this, it was in my price point, and I just like that, uh, I don't know if you'd call it peach or pink or, you know, I don't want to be too, I don't want to be manly here when I, when I yeah, point this out. Yeah, that's maybe it's, like a, yeah, like salmon. Salmon. Let's go salmon. Salmon, salmon, salmon. sounds manly. Uh, and I like that color. I didn't have a watch in that uh, dial color. Uh, this particular watch is actually, believe it or not, Swiss parts. It actually has a Swiss made uh, stamp on it. Uh, it's uh, made of surgical steel. Uh, things that uh, are typically in more expensive watches. It's got that uh, uh, dual clasp that um, Todd was talking about. It's not bad. You know, I've seen worse. This this is not a not a bad clasp. Uh, they've taken the time to uh, stamp the name of S. Koifman on this. Um, not a bad watch. I got that on sale. One of my favorite online retailers for twenty nine dollars. Wow. Yeah. Let me think Great banger watch. Yeah, the face is beautiful. Um, the hands are beautiful. Yeah, not bad for twenty nine. Yeah, um, got a little heft to it. Not much, but a little. The stem is decorated um, as well as the pushers, and uh, it's got a great leather band. Class, great leather band uh, for twenty nine bucks. Twenty nine. Can't beat that. Can't beat that. That's a great deal. So Todd doesn't have a lot of banger watches in his collection, but he did bring. 
one at least, right? Well, I did bring one today to discuss. Um, and one of my favorite uh, banger watch collections is Skagen. And if you've heard about Skagen, um, it's a Danish-inspired uh, watch. They're, they tend to have a European flair to them. Uh, they are a subsidiary of Fossil. And um, I don't know exactly how long they've been around. I want to say the mid-1980s, somewhere in that area. But this particular one, um, is titanium. It has um, just a really simplistic look to it. It does have the date down here in the bottom. Um, it has this orange accented second hand. Um, it has a nice mesh titanium band, uh, which if any of you um, have any issues with uh, corroding bands, um, things of that nature. If you purchase titanium, you won't have that issue. So long lasting. Long lasting. Um, I wear this every once in a while. I, I love it, uh, but I don't, I actually don't wear it that much. So the, tell us why you bought that particular one and is that a, one that you can share the price on if you remember? Yeah, I want to say that this I picked up at a retail store. It was on a closeout and I think I paid about $39 for Awesome. This. Awesome banger. And I think the retail on these are probably about $125 to $150. Great. Depending on the model. Yeah. Awesome. And a very nice clean watch. And I can see why you wanted to buy that one. I like the orange uh, second hand. Yeah, the, uh, the actual dial has uh, carbon fiber in the background here oh, in wow. the center. So it uh, gives a nice accent to the watch. And that's a good uh, segue to, to one of my favorite uh, banger watches. It's also a Skagen. And uh, I picked this up at a retail store. And a uh, beautiful uh, cream, or is that white? White dial, cream cream dial? Yeah, you call know? that white. Call that white? Mm -hmm. uh, blue second hand. Um, uh, matches the blue, kind of a cloth feel here, but it is actually a leather uh, band. Uh, 20 millimeters, uh, has the Skagen uh, logo. Uh, name embossed in the uh, the leather. Uh, this particular one is very thin, which I like, and it's just such a clean, classic, you know, look to it uh, that I had to buy it. And uh, this is the uh, the cheapest watch in my collection that I own uh, for now, and I paid eighteen dollars and ninety seven cents for this watch. Wow! Yeah, and uh, Skagen, like uh, Todd said, is owned by Fossil. Just a great, uh, nice banger watch. Uh, you know, when I, when I see a watch like that, that I like, and I really like the looks of this one, for that price, I'm buying it every time. I, you know what I mean? I cannot walk away and not buy that watch. Yeah, and it does have a uh, blue accented second hand there. Yeah. So, that really goes well with the strap. It so, does, doesn't it? Yeah. Very thoughtful air. And this could be worn um, either way. You could wear this uh, on a Saturday, just kicking around to doing errands, or if you wanted to, you could put that on with a white shirt and a tie and yeah. look really sharp. With yeah, it was. Well. Absolutely. Uh, a couple other um, banger watches that I want to show real quick. Uh, this one right here is called the uh, Lucian Picard. Uh, I call them LPs for short, uh, and I got that because of some of their markings on their dial and stuff. It just has the LP instead of Lucian Picard. Um, Lucian Picard, I'm checking my notes here. Um, was Swiss made from the when they used to make these uh, back in the day in 1923. This was considered a very ritzy brand. Um, kings, queens, you know, just really, really high end hop snobby people wore Lucian Picards. Um, when uh, uh, the wars happened and things like that, uh, they didn't, I didn't make them for a while. Somebody else picked up the name. And now they're making fashion watches, I guess is a good way to call these. But this uh, particular one, um, is, it's got a little bit of heft to it. And uh, some of the things I really like about this one, uh, I love the, uh, the layered look on the, uh, on the uh, dial. Uh, I love the red uh, accent highlighted uh, uh, markings for the time. Uh, it does have luminous hands. And then it's got the date over here. And then on, on the uh, watch itself, it has this uh, 
Crown protector. Yeah, crown protector, mm -hmm. uh, which I thought was interesting. Um, I like this one so much, it, it came in like three or four colors. I have that, this in actually three different colors. And then uh, Lucian Picard also uh, went to the trouble of, of uh, putting their, their logo name on the uh, clasp as well. I paid $55, so it's a little over our $50 one, but I paid $55 for that one. Let me take a look at that. Yeah, that uh, the depth of that dial is really beautiful, and uh, they've added a few accents, like you've said, that really kind of uh, sharpen this watch up with that crown protector, and then the these, um, I don't know what you'd call them, but uh, here on the lugs, that give that a little nice look. And then the uh, buckle is, is a little decorated. It's not just a plain old buckle. It's got a little shape to it and design that adds some real flair and uh, character to the watch. Yeah, so I'm yeah. wearing that. If I hit the wall, if I'm mowing my lawn, I'm not gonna care, because I paid, you know, 55 bucks for it, which is way cool. And that's why we call them, you know, banger, banger watches, it doesn't matter. Just to give you an idea of some of these watches, sometimes as a viewer, you don't get to see the size of it. This is about 13 millimeters thick, and the case size is about 43, 42 millimeters. Um, lug to lug is about 29 on the outside, and then the inside strap is about uh, 22, 23. So, just to give you a reference point on that. Now, the Skagens are super thin. Yeah. Uh, these are wow. seven millimeters thick, and this particular one on the case size is 39. And then the one that I uh, brought today is also about seven and a half millimeters and uh, about 42. This is a little bigger case size, about 42 millimeters on the case size. The last banger I want to uh, talk about is also a uh, LP, and uh, they make a lot of different uh, fashion watches. This was probably one of the first five watches I bought, and uh, this one, uh, when I saw it online, uh, just the way it de the design, it's kind of a, a retro modern look to it, uh, orange second hand, uh, very classy, simple uh, watch. Comes in a lot of colors. I actually have three of these and, and different dials, uh, but the same thing. Uh, nice watch for the money. I paid fifty dollars for this, and uh, uh, on sale. But I just really liked it, and it's got the uh, the day and, and uh, date there as well. Uh, leather strap. Um, again, great watch uh, for the money. Uh, you're not gonna hand this down to anybody. You know, you ain't. But. For what it is, and for if you're watch guys like us, it's a great watch to have. So, anyway. And they've done a good job. It's beautiful. Um, Isn't that I do, a classy design? It's a very classy design. I love the fact that they added the uh, day and the date in there. And a little classy touch on uh, the crown here. The logo? Is there a logo? They put their logo on there, so that's kind of a nice little touch. And then again, they always do a great job on their straps and uh, on their buckles. So yeah, for an LP, uh, I mean, I don't even know how they produce them at that. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, they think about they made them, they packaged them, they shipped them, they sold them, somebody marked them up, and I still got it for for fifty bucks. I mean, that's amazing when you think about it. Uh, again, is it going to last as long as your long jeans? Absolutely not. But that's not the point. The point is, it's a nice looking watch. I love it. It's cheap, and I'm going to buy it. <laughs> So everybody, as, you, as you're starting your collections or you're into collections, everybody needs banger watches. Um, if you're new to the watch uh, collection, uh, have it like we have. Don't be afraid to uh, uh, buy some of the, uh, the lower cost watches. Uh, try them out. You might find a brand like the LP that I like. I, I own lots of the LPs just because they're cheap and they, uh, they do a decent job uh, on the watch. So. Uh, I would highly recommend uh, getting quite a few bangers for your uh, collection and, and not worry about the prestige or the, you know, it's not a Rolex or whatever. Uh, just get a watch you like. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you for joining us today. Uh, that concludes our episode. Remember to uh, like and subscribe uh, below. If you have any comments, please let us know. And uh, thank you for watching our show today. Thanks a lot.